Hello there, folks, and welcome to another run on Modern. We have on the left, not Josh Lindy. In fact, we have AU Blue Buff Store Manager Daniel McCulley on Mono Green Tron. And on the right, we have the Michael Matson playing Team Escape Shift. You can, uh... <laughs> It was a quick start, so I wasn't able to like enter the names. You can see I spelled Mapson's name wrong. Uh, that will get corrected in a bit. However, if he finds out, I'm sure he will not let me live it down. You can watch me struggle as I figure out, as I type the names. All right, so yeah, we've got Tron versus Escape Shift, which is ironically a matchup that Tron is historically disfavored in, uh, because it's just not, you know, something that. Tron interacts with well. They play lands, they interact with you, and then eventually you die because of lands. I'm surprised you didn't want to. Um, but yeah. Kraken, <laughs> see if you hit a. No, leaving the green. Scrying. Leaving the green source up for that. It'd be nice to summon the scrying if the scrying is on top. I think it was Dan's first time playing modern in two or three months. Uh, he said the only thing he had together at the moment was Tron. Which is understandable. Tron is his favorite deck. You know, who doesn't have their favorite deck sleeves at the ready to go at any point in time? Not I. <laughs> My Amulet Titan deck, I think his piece is, like, torn apart right now. But hey. Alright, so Maps is going to bolt him in the end step. We got two Catcher Triumphs in play. And then on Dan's side, we have a Urza's Tower, an Urza's Mine, and a... Oh god, it's been so long since I've tried to think of the Tron land, or the Tron uh, land names. Not next to the Ugin. Back to the Ugin? It's the one that pops to go search for a, a dude. Dude, what the hell is the name of that car? There's a Blasto. There's a car in the Great Creator. There's a Reman putting that car in the Great Creator back in his hand. Reman, not a counter spell you see too often anymore. One out of blue. Uh, counter target spell. The controller puts that card back in it. Or into their hand, and then you draw a card. There's an expedition map here. I'll cast your Twitter handle. I'll activate your Twitter handle. I'm going to do crack the map. Probably going to get that last Urza's piece that he's missing. Which would be Urza's power plant. I'm out. If you know Dan, Dan typically does not play with foils, but as Tron is his favorite deck. He has foiled it out. I think almost completely. The only thing, those chromatic spheres look like they're not foil, but it could just be the way the light's hitting them. I am no expert on distinguishing if cards are foil or non foil. Five man. Card in the Great Creator gets immediately remanded again. That is reman number two. Plays a island and passes the turn. It's always interesting seeing like decks that are quote unquote older uh, in the current metagame. Escape Shift recently uh, at SCG Con Columbus, I think, got second place in one of the 20Ks. And alternatively, at the other 20K on Saturday into Sunday, AU, uh, friend of the store, Brady Monroe, won the event with col Colorless Prison Tron. Definitely recommend checking out that deck list. It is, uh, it's pretty cool. We actually, I think we have it on camera as well. I'm gonna scroll back a couple, <laughs> a couple weeks or so. Alright, so Dan is attempting to jam that Karn, seeing if it finally gets to resolve. Is he escape shift in Absent's hand? <laughs> Going to get remanded. Reman number three. Well, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just thinking if I want to replay my card. Put the card back on top <laughs> before. Because it got as the technical result to draw the card, but. Uh, look at my cyborg, so I don't know what's in it. Is it seven minutes to play for Escape Shift to kill? You need tw two mount. You need two. Yeah, because you sack seven lands to go get um, two battles and five mountains, I'm pretty sure, for 18 damage. Hmm. 
It has been a long time since I've cast Scape Shift to try and kill somebody. In fact, I don't even know where my Scape Shifts are. Oh, nice. So it is done. It's the third week in a row I had to buy. Dan is consulting his Tron wishboard right here. His extra deck, if you please. Did you, did you have, well, this is only three rounds, apparently, too? Yeah. About the same amount. The grocery store I, I go to had a new brand of coffee, and, uh, and I, uh, I I tried it out. I like it. For anybody who follows and <laughs> hears me complain about my cup of coffee every week, this is much better than usual. Let me tell you. We're going to draw. Pick somebody dry out of the Elysian Grove. It's going to make that scape shift a lot easier, too. Because then everything's a mountain. Including the Valakuts. We only need six lands. Good cast explorer here. Look, man. <laughs> Please, Misty has two fetches up currently. Also, I think yes. I mean, I'm not opposed, but I don't know how well Brady can like articulate. No, he can articulate very well. Now, folks, if you want to get on a mo get in on the modern action this month on September twenty fourth, twenty twenty two, it's a Saturday. We'll be hosting a modern one k at Alternate Universe like Blue Belt. Be a thirty. Oh god, thirty five dollar entry. It's either thirty or thirty five. With scaling pricing after a certain amount of players have entered the tournament, guaranteed one k pricing. Uh, I will not be there to record the event. But we will be having this event. It will be a sweet time. Matthew will be cracking some fetches here. And that puts him to seven lands in play. As long as he has mountains in his deck, that scape shift is lethal. Which, like, I imagine there are mountains left in the deck. I feel like something has to horribly go wrong. There's the scape oh, shift. Interesting. I'm going to sack I seven lands here. Lands yeah. deck, so that's that's fine. Yeah, and Dan's going to scoop it up. He has like, oh, been valeted many times in his life. He knows how this goes. And we're going to be right back with game two in just a second. <laughs> I totally forgot to pre-cut this. So. Yeah. It's not the worst, <laughs> but it's certainly not the best. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm not I'll keep this hand. It's it's definitely I'm definitely gonna lose. I'm gonna keep this. Is a, uh, oh, I shouldn't actually keep, but I told you I would. Oh, don't be a coward on me. Come on. This guy won the first. We good? Yeah, whatever. And we're back with game two. We got Dan on the play yeah, going so Urza's Tower into an expedition map. And let me tell you, it might be a controversial take. Those that Tron land set right there. That is my preferred Tron lands. Now, I never want to cast anything <laughs> off of Tron lands. But that Urza's Tower reminds me of Star Wars so much, and I can't I can't put my thumb on it, my finger on it. I guess specifically my thumb. But I love those arts so, so, so much. To the point that I have a foil set somewhere that was supposed to be part of my collection. If you know me, I don't really do anything collecting-wise in Magic. Because I lose everything like an idiot. <laughs> Matson led on a Valkit tapped. Dan played a forest. What, what version of forest is he? Oh, he's probably using the Bob Ross lands, actually. Knowing Dan. Um, Alright, crack of the map. Going to get an Urza's mine. I also think, like, you know, the other thing about these, like that set of Tron lands, it's very clear what each one is, right? Like, the power plant's got that little green thingy. Like, it looks like it could be a power plant, right? Like it looks like a reactor. The mine is there's a dude mining, and then the tower is just it's a tower. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's everything. It's big fan of when the cards make sense for what they're supposed to be. 
you trying to do? Oh, no, no. Unless I, it's like an altar. Altars no, are fine. I want to play a different oh. Oh. Alright, so Maps can play the catch or your trial. Perhaps the turn. As I'm sure you heard in the interlude before, the match officially started. <laughs> they were talking about bad hands and keeping them. Which is always my favorite joke to make. I got hands terrible. There's an Ancient Stirrings. Top five cards. Get a land. I think it's just a colorless card. The color is permanent. It's been so long since I've read Ancient Stirrings. I feel like every time there's a Stirrings on camera, I mention how people used to want it banned. And there's always like a little conversation in the comments about it. Maybe a colorless card from it. Okay. That's what I thought it was. But it could have been the permanent. I missed what he grabbed because I was looking up <laughs> oracle text of a card. Hooray for me. But yeah, for people who are newer, people hated Ancient Stirrings. When I first got into Modern, circa like 2018, people hated that card. Primarily because of decks like Tron and Angular Titan. Um, there's probably a couple other outliers. Ooh, we're gonna ice down something here. Yeah. I think there's a, a little bit of a conversation about what maps and should ice down. But. I to hit the forest monster. Valakut. Valakut, Valakut, uh, catch rate trial. Nah, I'm good with the mine. Okay. Draw turn? Yep. Well, I'm just saying, I think. Ice down the mine. Interestingly, I'm not sure why you don't ice down the tower. In case he's able to complete Tron here, that. Pre uh, it presents an extra mana, but, but it's not. Mm. I'm sure there was a game plan. Right, plays a forest as land for turn. Is this a dry to the Elysian Grove? It is. There's an extra land drop. Dry, it's so good. It's the three mana two four. You get an extra land, and then everything is everything. Because every sub every subsequent land drop from now on for maps is going to trigger the Valakuts. Because he has five mountains in play already. So he'll be able to be like, alright, land drop, do six damage. Fetch, six damage. Land drop, six damage. It's 18. Attack for 20. Or attack for, with Dryad for 20. That's like one of the alt win conditions you could do in Titan. You just never draw the Titan sometimes. You're like, oh, I have the Valakids in the Dryad. We'll do it anyways. Dan, still attempting to assemble Tron here. There's two towers, a mine, a blast zone, and a forest. Plays a Misty. Does six damage. Plays another land. Does six more. Tax for two. It fetches in. Doing six more. <laughs> and that is going to be game two. I just Mapson. recard liberated in a row. <laughs> Escape shifted. Thank you for watching, folks. Have a great rest of your day. Nothing I could do. We appreciate you watching every time. I don't know what's happening in my voice. This has always been my